Army Independent Group, a question this consultative forum. If you wanted to pay the Army and support them and give them proper uh, conditions, do it. You don't need a select group up in Dublin Castle and around the country at huge expense and just a literally a uh, talking shop to get the answer, the desired answer you want, to really up the people here for our change in neutrality. The Times has stated numerous times that our neutrality was a rather outdated position at the moment. So we know what's going on. This is the houses of the elected uh, people to this Oireachtas. And here we should debate this, not having these forums with packed, as, as others have said, packed people of, to get the desired answer. And some hangers on from NGOs as well, of course. A great party and a great carry on, but uh, ignoring again, once again, the elect, duly elected people of this house, the Thank privileged you. people that are elected to this house for the time being, I think it's shocking. Uh, thanks for that, Ken Corla. I just wanted to point out that the increase in the defence budget uh, for last year was €70 million. Euros. Uh, so this is a government that is committed uh, to investing in our defence forces and making sure that our defence forces uh, have, uh, have better equipment. And we've seen a, a significant improvement uh, in pay in recent years, and it now compares very favourably uh, with other, ju other jurisdictions uh, like the UK and uh, the US, for example. Um, opposition parties, to the best of my knowledge, have been invited to participate in the forum. Uh, they might not have been asked to give uh, a keynote speech, but they have been invited to participate in the forum, and we'd welcome uh, that they do so. Um, and, um, and well, it, it is a forum, so people will be able to participate. That's the whole, the whole, whole, whole idea of it. Um, and cer cer certainly would have no difficulty, uh, nor would certainly I'd have no difficulty, nor would the Thonishta in. Uh, the report being debated in the House. I think that's a good idea and I think that would be entirely appropriate. Uh, and I just want to confirm that representatives of all EU member states have been invited to attend the forum. Uh, that includes Austria, Malta and Cyprus. Um, and also representatives from Finland, Sweden, Norway and Switzerland, which is neutral, uh, have been invited to speak uh, as panelists. No, no, um, there's no point of order. So the Taoiseach is misrepresenting the position. There is a distinction between being invited to sit in the audience and listen to government representatives as opposed to being invited to participate in the debate. And that is the case for both members of the European Union. Deputy, resume your seat. Deputy, 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 I am now standing. Many voices. Voices of those who value Irish neutrality are actually being excluded Deputy, from the debates. You've completely ignored the last ten corner. You've completely ignored the chairperson in this matter. Now I would ask for your cooperation. Thank you. Let the Tonish to finish what he shouldn't Let the Tonish to, please don't take two bites of the cherry. Thank you. Yeah, thanks, um, uh, th thanks, thanks, Deputy. To, just to, con to conclude, uh, the aim of the forum is to hear from a variety of partners about their foreign and security policy choices, and it will be an interactive forum. Um, people will be invited to speak uh, and make their contributions. Uh, finally, uh, on the issue of data, of data centres, I um, have no difficulty having uh, a debate about our policy on data centres, but I would suggest that uh, opposition time be used for that. We have legislation, a lot of us need to get it through. Uh, by the recess, uh, and I would suggest that opposition time be used.